Welcome to part two of our teaching series and today we're going to go through what's the difference between attending a church and being part of a church. Mm -hmm. What do you think the difference is my love? Throw you under the bus. Oh you are throwing me under the bus. Um, I think hmm, how can I compare it? I suppose attending just attending the church requires no um, interaction, commitment. I think about people, you know, there's those people, if you're thinking about a traditional larger church, perhaps those people who kind of come in a bit late to avoid conversation, mm -hmm. sit down at the back and then leave right at the end or just before the end to avoid conversation and relationship building. Um, to avoid getting known by people there or or knowing people there and fostering relationships versus um, joining the church would then be kind of throwing yourself in, mingling mm -hmm. with the the other members of that church, the other people of that church and partaking in some manner in mm -hmm. that church, giving some part of yourself yeah. into that community. Yeah, I think one nice analogy that's just come to mind actually is the difference between dating and marriage. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay. when you're, if you're just attending church, it's like when you're dating someone, you'll go, you'll have a cup of coffee with them, yeah. and that's as far as it should go as per the Bible. <laughs> cup of coffee with your parents either side, some church members, <laughs> don't leave any space for that sexual immorality, maybe wear a mask. But dating is where there's no commitment. There's yeah. no effort past dressing up yeah to make yourself look presentable but yeah. when you're marrying That's a good point you know you go on a date you're focusing on putting on your best image for that one moment in time whereas when you're married mm -hmm. you you see all the nuts and bolts you mm -hmm. get to the nitty-gritty of life you see them in their ugliest and also you choose to sacrifice for them so you choose mm -hmm. to do things that's going to make them happy, even though it's going to make you unhappy or suffer in that moment in time. I think that's a good point as well, because in a marriage, you're intentional about building something together. So, yes, right. You, you have are. a vision, a direction, a purpose, and you're building on that together. Whereas if you're just dating, there's no... There's, there's no, nothing, there's no, there's no commitment, there's no... Um, fire, there's no... Yeah, you, you can take it, you can leave it, you can just walk away at any point. It's an instant gratification basis. Yeah. yeah. When you're dating, it's just focusing on that instant gratification where there's no focus on suffering for the long term. Mm. Whereas when you're married, you're working together, as you've said, <laughs> for that vision. It's terrible suffering. <laughs> suffering. It's your cross to bear, lads. <laughs> Suck it up. Oh. oh, the ball and chain, it's heavy to drag around. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that's a very good analogy and I think it's one which most people will understand and it's mm. the difference between attending church effectively comes down to your commitments yeah. to the church yeah. and as we said in the first series you need to be part of the church which is going to require com it Commitment. Commitment. <laughs> Pregnancy brain. It's going to require commitment. Um, and that's fundamentally the difference between going to church and joining a church. And when you want to look at it biblically, we can look at sort of Jesus's life and ministry. Jesus had his intimate fellowship of people that followed him around. He had his intimate disciples that did everything for his ministry. There were people that followed and supported his ministry. Mm. And they were like his church. They were his governmental body that helped that mission. Mm. But then there were also the people that just turned up for his sermons and for his healings mm. and for his miracles. Mm. And those were the people that were just turning up to church. Yeah, you think about when Jesus fed them. Mm. The loaves and the bread and then they followed him mm -hmm. after and then after they followed him, so they were attending. They came, they listened, they ate, they were fed. And then they followed him across the lake. And then that's when Jesus spoke about his body and his yeah. 
um, his blood and that you have to eat his body and that you have to drink his blood and then everyone left him. Mm -hmm. um, it was John, wasn't it? What do you mean it was John? In the book of yeah. John? Possibly. <laughs> Pregnancy brain. Pregnancy brain. Um, and then and they said, where else will we go? Yes, and then there were the few who were committed who said, well, we're not going to leave. Um, we're staying. And then that's the difference between the attendance and the commitment. When things get hard, when things seem a bit uncertain. Things require sacrifice. When someone tells you to eat their body and drink their blood. Yeah. I, think, <laughs> no, but in all I think that's the biggest thing. It's that ability and willingness to suffer for the church. Yeah. And, you know, suffering is throughout the whole Bible. Old and new, it's a necessity and a healthy part of a walk with God. Mm -hmm. And when you're choosing to join a church, it's understanding that differences between just putting on your Sunday best and putting on an image of trying to impress people, mm. which is dating, versus committing to that church through the good and the bad times. Understanding that you're there to help in that common mission, common vision which God has given his body. Mm. Anything to, to add, my love? No, I think that's a good yeah. summary. So, I hope that helps you understand the difference between attending versus committing. Attending is not the same as joining and committing. You must commit to and join a church in a biblical way, which if in doubt, I always say Acts chapter two is the easiest one to understand what, because it's just clearly written. Mm. Daily fellowship, committing yourselves to teaching, prayers and Psalms, and using the resources God has given you into the hands of your apostles to lead equality and change in the city that they were in. And that's how the early Christian church managed to rock a whole empire mm -hmm. and change society. Mm -hmm. So today, make a stance and start questioning whether you've joined a church, are you committed to a church, or are you just the sort of person who attends a church and is still dating? Mm -hmm. Yes.